and just scrying call 10. The angels are bidding me to relax, so I do. And once again, as with the noon scrying, I'm seeing a square rolled up into a tube and then those two ends of the tube connecting. And then that entire circular ring now rotating and turning into a sphere and then an n-dimensional hypersphere. So the angels are just having me just ease into this feeling. So as with the noon scrying, there is a Taurus, T-O-R-U-S, with a ring within it. And there is a vertical axis at the center. And there is a dot moving in simple harmonic motion. So exactly as it was with the noon scrying. And there are other rings, Tauruses, that are shown with that same vertical axis with a dot moving up and down in simple harmonic motion. And there is a synergy when they all meet together. And so the angels who are of transportation of this call, they can sort of bring together the beings who need to physically be present with one another in order to have the synergy of them meeting together in the shared space so that the simple harmonic motion, which is basically akin to being in a um, good spiritual practice, a good spiritual state, that there can be a synergy that is created with each other. And just to recap, once again, they're showing me that together that a larger cylinder of a permanent fixture basically or something more permanent can be left behind for future generations to then themselves instead of creating it can then instead be moved by the motion of what is left behind so this is kind of uh the um just again to recap the noon scrying is that this is sort of like the um the light side of the Saturnian flow that basically there's sort of like anything that can be created by previous generations. But if we are all sort of moving in good spiritual practice, you know, doing what we ought to be doing for ourselves, for each other, then and in a flow, basically, that we can create something that, um, can have an effect that outlasts us, that stands the test of time to get that Saturn um, reference to what I'm saying. So the, the thing that lasts, basically. Saturn loves old things that last. And so there's this also this idea that um, we can manifest the thing that will continue to, um, that instead of having um, chaos, basically, which is anything coming from above the abyss, suddenly we can use the understanding that we get, that we mutually learn from with each other, and then that understanding can then perpetuate itself and can move people to leverage that into greater understanding and so on and so forth. So this is what the angels of transportation can do. And then there's this idea of gold, basically, not necessarily physical gold or precious stones, but rather the work of the alchemist that creates that which is like gold within the heart using this same understanding. So this idea of lead into gold is basically transmuting basically the most difficult experience through diligence, one of the cardinal virtues, um, moving. So instead of sloth, which is the cardinal vice, you have diligence, which is the cardinal virtue of Saturn. And then what can happen from that is that that diligence will lead to understanding. The understanding can then be used to not, uh, and that is reached through the purification of one's own heart. So then one can actually go ahead and obtain understanding, use that to leverage um, something into future generations. And hence we have this idea of not necessarily physical gold, but Again, that same spiritual gold, that same, um, and be able to finally deal with uh, the the contaminants, as my friend Cody P puts it, which is to say that um, the contaminants are then sort of 
um, held in a jewel. So this is just a very much a repeat of what was gotten at the noon scrying. So again, the angels just kind of want to emphasize that um, the, the work of alchemy allows us to tolerate, to um, contain within the jewels the suffering that life gives us, and instead of allowing that to spill over, they're just contained, you know, so it's like dukkha or duke, depending on how you pronounce it, um, but using that Buddhist sense of that. So um, the angels are saying that the further scrying of water and air and of fire will all be elaborations upon this theme, and that um, it will certainly make the final angels of medicine, which is where we're getting from people coming together and able to create something that then affects future generations, then all of a sudden we're getting into medicine, right? And actually healing and actually bringing about um, the, the better pattern of reality that we all wish for. So I'm asking if there's anything else, and they're saying no, they literally just wanted to me to recap a lot of what they said before, so that sends the vision.